Rachel Reeves says she will raise taxes at the next budget. We're going to read into this piece more from the Financial Times, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here. We have an article from the Financial Times with the headline that Rachel Reeves says she will raise taxes at the budget. Hikes to VAT, national insurance and income tax have been ruled out as a row erupts over how much was known about the physical hole or physical black hole as they like to call it. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share so you've got social media so others are notified of this video. So... So one thing that we know for certain is that the the previous Conservative government did hide the amount of money that they were going to spend on the Rwanda scheme. Uh, we know that there are inaccurate reports there um, in terms of the cost, uh, in terms of funding and that. Now, Rachel Reeves gave a statement uh, earlier this week at the time of this recording saying that, that the Conservatives uh, budgeted more than they had more money than they had and that they weren't completely open and transparent with the office of budget responsibility the obr about their about what uh, what they had so apparently there was a lot of tit for tat a lot of line allegedly is what the chancellor is stating now i don't know how much truth is in that or not but this headline of saying that she will raise taxes at the budget if anyone when before the general before even the general election was called if anyone thought that taxes were not going to be raised under a labor government um you're you're a fool because there we have deficits now i i do believe there are some magic money trees around that can be used by the labor government but to say that they wouldn't be raising any taxes is folly um taxes are good thing taxes are important taxes are the things that funds our public services taxes are what runs your public buses taxes are vital components to society taxes are a necessary a necessary thing an important thing they should not be looked at as something bad for us um, taxes are always a good thing because they help fund and pay for many things that we have in society so this premise that taxes are a bad thing is folly there are some taxes that are that shouldn't be that that are kind of useless and folly but there are so many many good taxes as well now obviously for those who don't know the budget that she's going to be will be on the 30th of october uh this year so it's not for uh, at least about three months from the time of this recording until we will find out what is going to be addressed in there but obviously taxes are going to be raised but the question is what taxes are going to be raised and where are they going to come from because that is the the million pound question shall we say that everyone is going to be asking and i just i i generally hope that whatever taxes she does bring forward it it is ones that means that the that those with those who have land those who own lots of homes those who own lots of properties third fourth fifth homes those who have a lot of money sitting in their bank accounts some kind of more taxes for the rich and the wealthy paying a little bit more here and there rather than obviously people who are let's say on the middle middle income shall we say average earning and hopefully no more taxes especially on those who are struggling every day to get on by we also need to remember as well is that this uh, Labour government has committed to a, a huge increase in public sector pay as well for many bodies as well. So that is also something that they're going to be looking to uh, add as, in as well. So I think that's an important caveat as well when we talk about this. So let's read what the FT has had to say, guys. So the Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, has warned the UK to expect tax, rise, tax rises in autumn budget as the row erupted over how much she knew about the £22 billion physical hole she claims she inherited from the last Conservative government. Now, I always said that I always said, guys, that there would be skeletons in the closet when Labour took over. Now, how much of that skeletons? We don't know. At the end of the day, we can only take what what Labour are saying to us. And what the OBR's investigation will be as well, because obviously they are investigating the previous 
budget by by Jeremy Hunt as well because he basically lied about he's he has lied about and he's he's never denied what Rachel Reeves has stated as well. He's never come out and and said that I uh, accuse her of lying about the things that she has said about the physical black hole. That's really important. Okay, he's not denied it. And at the time of this recording, Rachel Reeves has accused Jeremy Hunt of being a liar to the British public. She said that publicly as well on Sky News. And at the time of this recording, again, Jeremy Hunt has not sued for defamation. So, tells you a lot about him. I mean, the guy, yeah, the guy ruined the National Healthcare Service as well. So, we have to remember that as well. I think that we will have to wait. We will have to increase taxes in the budget, Reeves told the news agency podcast on Tuesday. She declined to detail would, which taxes would increase, but again ruled out hikes to VAT, national insurance, or income tax. Now, Reeves has accused former Tory Chancellor Jeremy Hunt of lying about the state of the public finances and said she has been unaware of the extent of the pressures on government spending before taking office. One issue she highlighted on Monday was the former government's failed asylum policy, including housing asylum seekers in hotels and a scheme to then send them to Rwanda. That had placed huge pressures on the Home Office budget. However, Labour publicly warned before the election that the Conservatives have spent billions of pounds on more than planned on the asylum system. Critics say Weiss has been well aware of the problem before entering government. Uh, I would say, yes, yeah, she was aware of that. This is the thing. I was aware, I believe she was aware. But this idea or argument to say that did she know how deep the numbers are? We just don't know. So Reeves on Tuesday doubled down on her attacks on Hunt and said he lied and they lied during the election campaign about the state of the public finances, she told Sky News. Hunt told the Financial Times the attacks was desperate and that Reeves' claim of physical cover-up were unravelling as she emerged that Labour had previously highlighted exploding high office spending. The £6.4 billion of overspend on the asylum system in 2024-2025 was on Monday cited by Labour's Cabinet Office Minister Pat McFadden as a particularly egregious example of things the new government had found that were tougher than revealed before the election. McFadden spoke of overspend on the asylum and immigration budget in which they were being funded by the Treasury Reserves. However, in February this year, Labour in opposition compiled a dossier of its own shocking figures showing that there had been an eye-watering overspend on the asylum system, taking the Home Office overspend of 2023-2024 to nearly £5.5 billion. This is an important point there to show that Labour were aware of things. They were aware of things. Labour officials at the time pointed out that the £4.3 billion of the overspend that year had been covered by the Treasury Reserves. Yvette Cooper, the then Shadow Home Secretary, now leading the Home Office, said at the time that the figures had laid bare the complete chaos that Tories had created in the science system. Now the Home Secretary has been forced to go to the Chancellor with a begging bowl because she, because he's because uh, he's bust his budget over by five billion, she said in February. The former Tory Home Secretary, James Clevey, told the FT, no one could be surprised that the asylum had been funded through reserves. It's a multi-year pattern of funding. Dude! Dude, just shut up. To turn around and say you're shocked the government was planning to do this for what it's done for the last three years is nonsensical, he said. Dude, your political party left us in this mess. Your party. You can't say dog. You really can't. You guys can't say anything. You can't. I'm sorry. They cannot say anything, guys. Yeah? Do not take anything the Conservatives say. Remember, they left everything in a mess. Okay? Yeah, that is one thing you can agree with Labour on. They left everything in a mess. Okay? That is a fundamental fact. Yeah? You don't have to like the Labour, go Labour government. You don't have to like the Labour Party. But the Conservatives, you really should not be taking anything from these lot. Yeah, considering the mess that they have left us. A parliamentary briefing report uh, earlier this year spelled out how the Home Office has for several years relied on choose, uh, Treasury Reserves to plug a gap in funding allocated for the 2021 spending review. Jane Smith, Research Director at the Resolution Foundation Think Tank, noted that a huge spike in small boat crossings after the 2021 spending review had precipitated a multi-year shortfall. He said that Labour knew that there was overspending in the Home Office budget and it was obvious this was going to be a problem. Smith, however... Added, however, that Reeves' team were handed some genuine new information about the extent of the asylum and immigration costs this year. Now, that is, I do believe that is true, though. I do believe that is true. Most, most, about the, the immigration costs, I do believe, yeah, is true. 
The £6.4 billion asylum overspend was the second biggest item in Reid's list of unfunded commitments behind the £9.4 billion the Chancellor herself incurred by honouring the full public sector pay awards of between 5 to 6% proposed by the independent pay body reviews. And she announced a series of measures to partly close the funding gap, including axing winter fuel payments for 10 million pensioners, scrapping road and rail schemes and reviewing a hospital building programme. She also warned of more cuts and tax rises to come. Her announcement caused concerns among some left-wing Labour MPs. Diane Abbott said on X, the parliamental cuts, spending cuts, welfare cuts, cuts to investment and more to come. This is renewed austerity. Reeves has rejected the claim knowing the pay increase for public sector workers. Now that's her counter argument that she's going to be increasing pay for public sector workers. But it is still, but still these cuts here, that is still, regardless of whatever you try and picture you paint of it, that is austerity as Diane Abbott has said. You're cutting departments. And that is a form of austerity. Yes, I know you can argue about the physical black hole, but it is still a form of austerity in that in those departments. Spokesperson for Miss Cooper said the five billion pound shortfall was for last year, was for last year, and was therefore a completely different figure to the one unheard of this year. We were literally staggered by the figures for this year and the forecast for further for further years. They said, "Yeah, and this this just this, this is an absolute this six point five six point four billion asylum overspend." It's, an, it's a massive headache for Reeves. It's a massive headache for Yvette Cooper, without a shadow of a doubt. But obviously, in terms of the other numbers, um, obviously, you, it's, it's really up to you whether you want to believe that they left more of a mess than they should have, that Labour did or didn't know. That is something you guys can decide for yourselves in the comments. But what I will say is, is that no one should be surprised about tax rises. Most, pretty much the majority of the economists, the IMF and forecasters and think tanks were saying that we would have to raise taxes, that, that whatever government was going to come in after the general election, we would have to raise taxes. We knew this and we knew this was going to come. Um, so to say, oh, Labour aren't raising taxes is just folly. Yes, they're not raising VAT, they're not raising national insurance, they're not raising the income tax doesn't mean about our other tax there's plenty of other taxes that they can raise there's plenty of new taxes they can make and like i said taxes are important it's just a case of who you target and what who you target and what you're targeting specifically those are the questions so here's a question i'd like you guys to answer in the chat what taxes would you like to be implemented to help what kind of taxes i don't want to hear just tax the rich what kind of taxes would you like to see or it, which taxes specifically you want to see increased? Or if there's a new kind of tax you think that could help plug these gaps and raise money, let me know your thoughts and more down in the comment section below, as well as what you guys think of this piece from the Financial Times. Let me know your thoughts and more. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. It'd be greatly appreciated. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because it does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, financially support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p. Or you can join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.